。好了，同学们好，呃，今天我们来看看这个对话一些内容。呃、uh, ，We're gonna start with、um, Xiao Ming. Xiao Ming starts the episode by saying, 对了。我们来看看对了。You guys know already what 对 means, right? 对。Um, but、uh, when it's used with the la on the end of it,、um, like this, it means something like "oh, oh right," or "oh, I almost forgot," or "by the way," something like that. Duela, right? Oh, by the way. Oh, right. Oh, I almost forgot. So. How would you say? Oh, right. We're we're having a we have a Chinese test today. Think about that for a minute. How would you say that in Chinese? You could say, 对了，我们今天有中文考试 right? Okay, 对了，今天有中文考试。Uh, the next、uh, important phrase is this. I gave Lan Lan 打个电话我给兰兰打个电话吧 right? 打个电话 Start with gay. Let's start with gay. Gay means to give. Gay, to give.、Um, so you can just use that G and the G as a kind of a memory trick. Gay. Why don't you say it after me? Repeat. Gay. 我给我给 I give. 我给 And then, I 我给 somebody. 我给 a person. 打个电话吧。打打个电话打电话 Make a call. Call somebody. 打个电话 Call make a call. So there's two things going on. There's 给 and there's 打 Two verbs. So it comes out in English. Maybe I give Lan Lan make a, a, a call. So don't don't get too caught up on that. Just remember, I give someone a phone call. I give someone phone a phone call. Sort of like that. I give Lan Lan a phone call. Repeat that, please. I give Lan Lan a phone call. Ba. A phone call. Make a call. What gave somebody a phone call? At the very end of the sentence, you see the word "ba." Ba. This "ba" here is kind of like a suggestion. Why don't I? Or let me? Or I should. So, what gave Lan Lan a phone call? Ba. Why don't I go ahead and give Lan Lan a call? Right. So the whole sentence. Oh. Oh, by the way,、uh, why don't I give Lan Lan a call? 打个电话，打个电话 So please repeat that a few times until you're comfortable with the, with the、um, pronunciation. 我给兰兰打个电话吧 How would you say this sentence? Why don't you give Mr. Lavelle a call? 中文怎么说？ Here's the answer. You gave Mr. Lavelle a damn hoba. You gave Mr. Lavelle a damn hoba. Okay. Next、uh, important language point is uh, uh, Mike, American kid, says, "Zamala, zamala, zama." Them usually means how, but when you add the la to it, it changes the, the the tone meaning. What's the matter? What's up? Right, adding la makes it, it sort of like what's wrong. What's going on? What's up? Sort of like that. Zamala, repeat that one. Zamala. And then he follows it up, and、uh, Mike says, "Yo, shamashara, 
，有什么事儿啊？有 ，is there？ 什么 ？What？ 事儿 ，thing， issue。In other words， is there a problem？ What's wrong？ What's the matter？ 有什么事儿啊 ？What's going on？ You know why would you need to give Lan Lan a call? Okay, so put it together. Zamala, yo shama shara. Can you repeat that? Zamala, yo shama shara. Shara. You see that R sound right here? That is a sort of the、um, Beijing accent. Shara. They had they had the R sound to a lot of their、uh, verbs that end in I. Right, or other verbs too, other things too. So just be on the lookout for sh the er sound. Yo, shama shar, yo shama shar. Okay, you can see the English translation there. Mike says, "What's up? Why? What's up?" And then Xiao Ming explains. He says, "Zhou Wu 那天老师留了英语作业。”我给忘了。So Xiao Ming starts the sentence with Zhou Wu. Zhou Wu. Zhou Wu. We've learned in the past that、um, uh, how to say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The, the way we learned was Xing Qi, Xing Qi Yi, Xing Qi Er, Xing Qi San, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, it's also common to say, instead of Xing Qi to say Zhou. So Zhou Wu. Would be, of course, the fifth day of the week or Friday, right? Zhou Wu, 那天那天，周五。So if you look on the right here, you see Zhou Yi, Zhou Er, Zhou San, Zhou Si, Zhou Wu, Zhou Liu, Zhou Ru. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Zhou Wu. In this case, it's Zhou Wu. And then he adds a little word right after that. Zhou ni ni tian, right?、Um, that sort of corresponds to our word on, on Friday. He could have left it off, but he said Zhou ni tian ni tian, that day Friday. On that day Friday comes something like that. Zhou ni tian. 那天 on think of it as on Friday on on Friday. 那天那天 also pronunciation. Okay, what happened on Friday? 周五那天，老师留了英语作业。老师留了英语作业。留。Zuo ye is the key phrase there. Liu, oh, sorry. Liu, to leave, or to in this case to give, leave. Zuo ye. Zuo ye homework. So leave homework. The teacher was what the teacher does. The teacher liu zuo ye. 老师留了留了。英语作业 Okay. Well, nothing wrong with that. The teacher left some English homework. Okay. So on Friday, 周五那天，老师留了英语作业 So on Friday, the teacher left some homework for us to do at home. The problem is coming up next. The problem is, 我给忘了 Wang la means to forget, right? As you heard, if you listen to、uh, the other video, wang la. Gei wang la, wang gei wang la. I gave it a forget. Now you see the gei up here, and you see the gei here. These are two different、um, sort of、um, different uses, but sort of like both have the meaning of give. I gave it. I forgot. Here, I gave him a telephone call. Okay, okay, 忘了 
if you would have said, if you forgot the gay and just said, well, wang la, that would have been okay too. But you often hear Chinese people say, wo gay wang la. I took it and I forgot it. Wo gay wang la. Okay? So, so, so that was the problem. Um, the teacher gave homework to the, to the class, but he forgot to do it. So he doesn't know what it is, so he's going to go back and give Lan Lan da dian hua and ask Lan Lan if he knows, if she knows what the homework was. Okay? So that's his problem. He's nervous that he doesn't know what the homework is. So Mike, Mike uh, agrees with him that this is something important, and he, um, he says, Kwai da, kwai da, kwai. Da, kwai, da. Why don't you repeat that with me? Kwai, da, kwai, da. Kwai means to hurry up, do something. It means the basic meaning of kwai is fast. Right? But when it's used like this, it means um, to hurry up. So kwai, da, hurry up and do something. In this case, hurry up and give him a call. Right? But it could be hurry up and do anything. Right? Hurry up and call her in this case. But if we said kwai zuo, what would that be? Kwai chi, what would that be? Kwai zao, kwai shuo, kwai xie, kwai hu. And I think you can figure out now if kwai zuo is, it could be, depending on what the character is, it could be to sit down, hurry up and sit down, if that's what the teacher says, or it could be hurry up and do something, depending on the character, right? Quite sure, of course, hurry up and eat. Quite so, oh, come on, get out of here, hurry up, go. Quite sure. Well, tell me, hurry up, quickly, what is it, what is it? Tell me what it is. Kwai xie. Hurry up and write, write down it, write it down. Kwai hu. Oh, you're so thirsty. Oh, kwai hu. Hurry up and mm. drink. So I think you get it, right? So that's it. That's the main uh, vocabulary, the main sort of language points for this lesson. And, and then you'll, you should go back through this and, and re-listen several times, practice the pronunciation, um, make some flashcards or whatever you have to do to remember the vocabulary. In class, in the next class, you'll be working on some exercises that use these um, uh, words. And don't forget, there always will always be a quiz at the beginning of class to make sure you actually watch this video. Okay, 同学们。再见，晚安。